Hi there, welcome to another video on substitution. In this video we're going to substitute um, into algebraic expressions that have a division or a fraction in them. So let's start with the first example. If we have that a is equal to 4, b is 3 and c is 2, we're asked to work out the following things. Now, part 1, a over c, that means a divided by c. So when we substitute in, a is 4 and we're dividing by c, which is 2, and 4 divided by 2 is obviously 2. That's our answer. Okay? a plus c over 3, or a plus c, all divided by 3. a is 4, so we do 4 plus c is 2, so 4 plus 2 divided by 3. 4 plus 2 is 6, um, so that's 6 divided by 3, and 6 divided by 3 is 2 again. A divided by B subtract C. A is equal to 4 divided by B subtract C, 3 subtract 2. Um, so that's 4 divided by 3 subtract 2 is 1, and 4 divided by 1 is clearly 4. Okay, so there are our first few examples. Just like I've done, copy these down, and when you're doing your examples, make sure you're showing your working, like I have. Okay, another few examples. Now, same A, B, and C. A is 4, B is 3, and C is 2. We're asked to work out the following slightly more complicated. 10A, all divided by 2C. So that's 10, brackets A, A is 4, all divided by 2, multiplied by C, which is uh, 2. Okay, so then we can work it out. 10 multiplied by 4 is 40, and we're dividing that by 2 multiplied by 2, which is 4, and 40 divided by 4 is clearly 10, and that's our answer. Part 5. 2a plus 2c all divided by 3. So that's 2, and a is 4. So 2 uh, brackets 4, plus 2 brackets c is 2, all divided by 3. So now we work out the top of this fraction. 2 multiplied by 4 is 8 plus 2 multiplied by 2 is 4, so that's 8 plus 4 divided by 3, and 8 plus 4 is 12 divided by 3, and 12 divided by 3 is clearly 4. Next example, 5a divided by 2b subtract c. So that's going to be 5, and a is going to be multiplied by 4, 5 brackets 4, divided by 2, a b, and b is 3, uh, subtract c which is 2. So we can work out the top of the fraction, the numerator, 5 times 4 is equal to 20, 2 multiplied by 3 is 6 and 6 take away 2 is going to be 4, so on the bottom we have 4 and 20 divided by 4 is clearly 5. Alright, three more examples for you to do and then it will be time for you to practice some of your own. Again, a, b, and c are the same. a is 4, b is 3, and c is 2. Work out the following. So 10a plus c, all divided by 2b. So that's 10, and a is 4. And we're going to add c, and c is clearly 2. All of that is going to be divided by 2 b's, and b is equal to 3. So let's work out the numerator, the top of the fraction. 10 multiplied by 4 is uh, 40, plus 2 is going to be 42 divided by 2 times 3, which is 6. 42 divided by 6 is clearly 7. That's our answer. 5a plus 6c, all divided by 2b plus c. So 5a is going to be 5, brackets 4, plus 6c, so it's going to be 6, brackets 2, all divided by 2, brackets 3, because b is 3, plus C, which is clearly 2. Okay? So it's just about working this out. 5 multiplied by 4 is 20, plus 6 multiplied by 2 is 12, so 20 plus 12, divided by 2 multiplied by 3 is 6, plus 2. 20 plus 12 is obviously equal to 32, and we're dividing that by 8 on the bottom, and 32 divided by 8 is 4. Okay, last example, 20c subtract 2b, all divided by 2a subtract c. So that's 20, 2, subtract 2, multiplied by b, which is 3, 
all divided by 2 multiplied by 4 subtract 2. So, let's work out the top. 20 times 2 is 40, take away 6, all divided by 8, take away 2, which is clearly going to be 34, and that's going to be uh, divided by um, 6. And 34 divided by 6, I've left the last one as a, as a tricky one. This isn't actually a whole number, um, so you can simplify that fraction. Um, you can divide the top and bottom by 2, so you get yourself 17 divided by 3. And if you wanted to convert that into a mixed number, clearly that would be equal to 5 and 2 thirds. But leaving your answer like that, a simplified fraction is absolutely fine. And we're done there. So thank you very much for watching.